Hi everybody, welcome to physics class, the earth and beyond. Okay, in previous physics period, we already discussed about planets, moon, constellations, etc. So, let us go to today's topic. Today's topic is the Milky Way Galaxy. What's Milky Way? On a dark, clear night, you can easily see a dusty white band of stars stretching across the sky. That is the Milky Way. Okay? Milky Way is the massive collection of stars, dust and clouds of star gas. Milky Way contains hundreds of billions of stars. It is only one of billions of galaxies in the universe. Do you know about the universe? What's the universe? The universe is everything we can touch, feel, sense, measure or detect. It includes living things, planets, stars, galaxies, dust clouds, light and even time. That means the whole space is known as universe. Okay. The Milky Way galaxy is 100,000 light years across and rotates at a speed of 970,000 km per hour. Okay. We live in one of the large spiral galaxy called the Milky Way. The sun and its planets lie in this part of the galaxy about halfway out from the center. Okay. You can see that in the figure also. Okay. The Milky Way is shaped like a huge whirlpool that rotates once every 200 million years. It is made up of at least 100 billion stars as well as dust and gases. It is so big that light takes 100,000 years to cross from one side to the other. You know, in one second, light can travel 300 million meter per second. So imagine like that much speed. Then also it takes 100,000 years to cross from one side to the other. Okay. So imagine about the size of the Milky Way. Okay. And see, actually, like uh, look at the figure, you can see that uh, our solar system, center of the solar system is sun, but uh, our solar system is a part of the Milky Way spiral galaxy. Okay. That picture you can see from the figure. Okay. And um, <coughs> Look at the figure. Look at the figure. You can see a Milky Way. Okay. The center of the galaxy. See, there is one mark is there. Over there you can see maybe like a black hole. Okay. The center of the galaxy is very hard to see because the clouds of gas and dust block our view. That's why we can't see the center from the earth. Okay. Scientists think that it contains a supermassive black hole. See, you can see in the figure like a black hole. Okay. And uh, that swallows anything passing to close. Okay. So, this is a one type of star groups. Okay. Next topic is planets around other stars. In 1988, some of the astronomers believed that uh, when they observed through uh, observed the stars, they saw some planets are moving around the star. Later on, they invented the new new telescopes so that uh, means power, powerful telescopes, and uh, they observed again and uh, they uh, finalized like uh, many are like uh, gas ends like uh, Jupiter. Okay, but then after they find out the Kepler telescope and 
etc they did more and more when they will see like these things like these celestial bodies firstly they will look to see if the star moves if it does this means that there is a force of gravity between the star and there were no more planets around it and this force is making the star to move secondly they will check they will look to see if the star dims occasionally that means suddenly if the light will dim in the telescope they will think a regular like it's a, if it is a regular pattern like the, that means the planet is crossing between the star and the that's what the telescope is showing the dim light that time okay what are like a, what type of planets around the uh, around other stars planets that orbit around other stars are called exoplanets okay exoplanets are very hard to see directly with the telescopes okay they are hidden by the bright glare of the stars they orbit okay so astronomers use other ways to detect and study these distant planets that's also not possible more because we these are very very far away from us and also we don't have such type of devices to see and to observe and first of all we can't reach earth that's the main thing okay and you know about the like um, uh, universe like uh, milky way and galaxies are like 100000 years from our earth so the universe is very like uh, the milky way and the galaxies are very very far away from us okay next one is beyond the milky way galaxy like uh, in the 20th century hubble like ernest hubble one of the scientist he invented the uh, telescope okay scientists are used to that telescope and observe the stars and also the milky way okay then they find out the groups are separate galaxies and uh, they estimate that there are billions of them in the universe and that each one may have over a billion stars that means beyond the milky way galaxy there are billions of other galaxies in the universe okay and there are three mainly three types of galaxies one is spiral galaxy okay and uh, elliptical galaxies and irregular galaxies spiral galaxies like the milky way and andromeda galaxy okay and also elliptical galaxy means the, according to the shape of the galaxy only its name is like this way. spiral galaxy means you can see in the first figure that represents the spiral galaxy that shape is stars are arranged like that okay the shapes are like a spiral okay then that's what that galaxy is known as spiral galaxy and look at the next galaxy that's the elliptical galaxy you know about the elliptical shape yeah so our earth orbit is also same like elliptical shape so the stars are over here arranged like elliptical pattern so that's what this galaxy is known as elliptical galaxy and the last one is irregular galaxy irregular galaxy means there is no they don't have particular shape okay irregular okay and uh, galaxies are moving through space and sometimes they collide each other so when collision will takes place the shapes of the galaxies change or they may merge to form a new one okay if one galaxy is large and the other is small the small one may be torn apart as the two crash together we don't know about that just a prediction only okay small galaxies are to uh, thought to have crashed into the milky way galaxy in the past okay scientists are believed like that way but we don't have uh, 
uh, particular devices to find out more about these and also it's far away from us light years away from us so it's not possible to reach over there alhamdulillah we finished the chapter next physics period not only chapter we finished the second time syllabus and so next physics period inshallah i will give you the uh, question answers related to this chapter okay and if you have any doubt you can uh, write the questions in the discussion room okay and together with i am sending you one of the video related to milky way you will get more information from that okay so please watch that also